Hello and welcome to the DIY Fiend channel. My name is Art3 and in this video we're going to showcasing one year of our 737 full cockpit flight simulator progress. Now we have made along the year a lot of uh, videos on how we made specific parts but in this video we're going to be going through in more quicker pace every step so far we have taken to accomplish this result that we right now have. But we started this maybe like during May of 2023. The first step was to achieve our plan goals and see what we really want from the simulator. We settled on a design made by 737DI Sim um, and his plans are great. Though we did major modifications to those plans and after the plans were complete, we went ahead and bought some metals. The metals we bought and we started to weld the uh, four main sections for the simulator together. After all the metal sections were complete, uh, we added some uh, legs to them so that they could be off the ground a little bit. And underneath the floor we had designed the yoke uh, and pedal mechanisms which would be the next step to create. As well as the yoke, we also started on the insulating part. We added some styrofoam to the floor and later to the walls as well to keep the simulator warm during the cold uh, winters if we would be flying outdoors or in a little bit cooler environment. After the insulation and the sort of metal fabrication part of the simulator was done, we started to install our 3D printed yoke uh, mechanism parts in. And these uh, were printed with the Ender uh, 5 Plus and then later on in the progress we also got a Bumble App P1S printer to help with the precision parts and damn it was amazing help and we still use it so much. When the yoke mechanism was done and the yoke was practically working in the most primary functions, as in roll and pitch angles were correct, we started to install the pedals and that started with the pedal floor. The pedal floors were made out of wood, but the top sheeting is out of uh, pretty thick sheet metal to achieve the realistic look on the, the pedals. The mechanism was 100% custom made and we designed it in a way that they would be very functional and realistic to the real simulator or real plane I should say. In our design you can adjust the distance of the pedals uh, from your feet independently on both sides and they are also connected to each other so that when you push the pedal the yaw axis on the captain side also the first officer side moves with. So this um, achieves a realistic effect like in the real plane and you're gonna uh, better get the uh, sort of input feedback. After both the mechanism on the yoke and the pedals were complete, we started to install our electrical box uh, housing all our not only high voltage but our low voltage uh, electronics, um, power supplies, etc. And from the electrical box, um, we moved on to the side of the MIP structure, walls and the FMC bay. Um, these were now initially made out of this sort of fiber board to make the back of the uh, structure. And then later we added fiberglass on top of it to make it uh, rigid and strong as well as look more realistic. And because the simulator is supposed to be transportable in a trailer, we want the simulator to be as light as possible. So this fiberboard and fiberglass combination allows us to make uh, quite lightweight uh, parts and uh, structure to the simulator compared to something like figure MDF panels. And this video is sponsored by PCB Way. Again. Yes, they're amazing services. Uh, for these PCBs and CNC services have been a huge help for our channel. 
we couldn't have been more, uh, more happy. Yeah. But PCB way offers uh, CNC services, part manufacturing, and PCB assembly, among many other things they have. So go check their website out. It, yeah. As you can see behind us, it's really easy to order. Yes, it They're takes products. like five minutes if you know what you're doing and you don't even need to know what you're doing. Yeah, and you get the quotes very fast and shipping is also very fast. They have a currently ongoing Christmas sale for a couple more days. So go ahead and check the link down in the description. They should have some amazing uh, sales in there to get. Yeah, <laughs> and we actually have a new uh, affiliate link to PCB Way. So be sure to click on that link in the description. But you're gonna support our channel through that. And PCB Way. Click the link down below. Goodbye. After the sort of MIP and FMC Bay main structure was complete, we started to add some paint to the pedals and we finished off the mechanism to adjust the pedals. Um, so you can see here is the um, adjusting handle and the um, box that is in the real plane as well, as well as the circuit panels, which are not functional at this stage, but we'll see if we for the fancies, do that as well. After we also wa had wired up the pedals and the yoke, we wanted to do a little test flight with two displays and, and our ready-made seats and throttle from our previous simulator. This um, test flight was just to test our yoke and pedals and their functionality in Mobile Flight and explain 11. Sorry, I explained 12 in this case. Um, they worked perfectly and it was really fun to fly. But now it was back in time to get back to work. And, and the big next step was to start working on the main instrument panel as well as the glare, wings and shield. Uh, we started with the MIP, making it out of the same fiberboard and aluminium trims to make it super light. Um, later we also added the fiberglass layer on the MIP as well. And the end result was a super lightweight and super strong uh, main instrument panel that you can easily detach from the simulator. As for the glare shield and glare wings, we were able to repurpose the glare wing and glare shield modules from our previous simulator. Uh, we Took, took the old um, glare wing apart from the simulator and brought it inside and started to modify it, modify it to fit our new simulator. Uh, a lot of uh, filling, sanding and painting later, we uh, achieved a really, really good looking end result that we were really happy with and we were able to install it into the simulator. And to finish off the main work on the glare shield we added some LED strips to the bottom side of it to light the MCP panel as well as the main instrument panel on, on the spots that the lights in the real plane as well are. Now I'm not gonna go too far in the, the knee panel and air ventilation system because we haven't released the video yet but we have worked on the knee panels a lot more and there is some cool progress on the ventilation system that we will be releasing as soon as we will get more progress done on those. Stay tuned for those and remember to subscribe. We have big updates coming pretty soon here when we get back on the main parts. We are having working on the sidewalls for quite a long time and sidewall videos should be coming up soon as well. And that's super cool, they look super realistic so stay tuned for that as well. The side walls were, as the main module as well, made out of um, the fiberboard and then fiberglass layer. Uh, the main structure was made of 40 by 40 millimeter uh, wood, and then the fiberboards, uh, fiberboards installed on top of that, and then the fiberglass was in installed on top of that, and then it was filled with filler and then painted sanded and repeated a few times to achieve a really nice look on the 
side walls. I'm gonna show you a little bit of the side walls uh, here, although we haven't released the video yet. One big um, feat with the side walls were also the complicated window trims. Uh, we decided to make it out of two parts so that the main, the main side wall piece does not include the whole trim but only the bottom part of the window trims. But even the bottom part of the window trims was a really complicated shape and we had to make it out of styrofoam and then fiberglass on top of that styrofoam. Uh, we'll explain more about how we did the styrofoams and fiberglassing in the upcoming video about the side walls. But it was quite complicated and I think a lot of people might find our um, research and testing useful if you ever want to try to do fiberglass yourself for your simulator. But essentially that's what we achieved during this year um, of progress on the simulator. We have really big stuff coming up so I hope you subscribe and stay tuned for more. Thank you for watching, happy new year and see you in the next one. Goodbye.